for the ordinary activity of demons, and this has to do with just temptation. So the demons can tempt us, and the reason being is because, again, they have a, a limited dominion or a limited ability to affect our physical faculty so they can introduce things into your imagination. They can they have some knowledge about what's in your memory, not all of it. And so they can use your memories against you by dragging them out. This is one of the reasons why praying for um, the purification of the memory or um, the grace of forgetfulness is very useful because then um, it's harder for them to make use of that. But they can bring those things into you. They can also act upon our passions or our emotions. Now, I'm going to read here a little bit later that they can cause sensible consolations. Now, with this, this is, and this is something that's quite important. Since they can act in your imagination, when, when, when an image comes into the imagination, that image is what moves your emotion, or your path, maybe, the, uh, which causes the emotion, which is actually a, an inclination of your appetite towards something. Since this works through a bodily organ, they can affect your emotional life. This is the reason why you do not follow your emotions in the spiritual life, period. Because of the fact that they can cause good emotions, they can cause bad emotions, they can actually make a person think that this is some experience from God, etc. And so you have to get, you have to get people to the point where they're actually following reason, illumined by faith and will, and uh, moved by charity, rather than their emotional life. Which is why when you see people blubbering and carrying on and being all emotional about how God loves them, I'm just, I get nervous. All right. Maybe that's the guy in me talking. But anyway... <laughs> So, but they can act upon these things, and this is one of the reasons why. Now, this, this, because they can act upon this, is one of the things which we're going to see later with obsession. They can cause obsessions, and they can, they can be rather powerful. Temptation comes from three sources, though: the world, the flesh, and the devil. So, not every temptation is from the devil. I tell people he's not under every rock; he's under every other rock. So, and if he if he isn't under that rock. Put it back down and open it back up, and he's probably there again. You know, he's, so, as one guy said, he was the master of the chess, you know, the, the thing where you put the little ball underneath it, it's a shell game thing. All right. So, and what I mean by that is, is that if people commit sin, then you open the door for the demons because each time you commit a sin, you disorder the faculties, which gives them a greater capacity to actually act upon them. And so you actually see to them more and more power over you the more you sin. This is why, as I've mentioned before in this class, the first thing in the spiritual life is you have to stop sinning. And that also means you have to stop following your emotions. Okay. So that's the ordinary way in which they tend to affect us. And they can also cause other problems like illnesses and things of this sort.